I want to kill lots of withers. Like a lot of withers. Let's say 72,000. And I want to do it all in just one hour. Now as evil as that sounds, I didn't just wake up one day plotting the demise of all withers. Some friends challenged me to do it. Now I don't accept challenges very often, but when I do, I take them way too seriously. And for this challenge, I had no idea what I got myself into. 72,000 is a lot. To give you a sense of scale, this is 10,000 withers. I couldn't fit 72,000 in the thumbnail. Even at max render distance, 10,000 completely fills the screen. And it makes my PC run great. The frame rate is smooth. I'm telling you, this is pretty Minecraft performance right here. And yet, we still need over seven times more withers than this. To get there, we need to be killing 22 withers every single second. Whoa, now wait just a second, Purple. You do realize it takes at least 12 seconds just to kill one wither with a Smite 5 sword. So how are you going to go on planning killing... You know what? Two takes is enough. I don't care. So how are you going to plan on killing 22 per second? What, you think I'm going to be fighting these withers? <laughs> no, of course not. We're going to be using redstone, of course. You can actually use dispensers to place wither skulls, given that there's a valid shape of soul sand to place them on. All you need to do is trigger the dispensers as fast as possible and make a piston setup that delivers the soul sand you place. So all the way back in January, I made my first prototype. But before I show it to you, if you're overly concerned about server lag, you should look away now because it will probably hurt you on the inside. Yeah, I know, I know. There's redstone dust everywhere. Dust is laggy, dust bad. Bad purple. There's also quite a lot of boot because I was too lazy to make it entityless. Don't tell the tech people. This design spawned one wither every four game ticks, or in Queen's English, five withers every second. That's 18,000 withers per hour. To reach this speed though, you do need some kind of auto clicker to place the soul sand for you. Now anyone who's played with me knows that I love me some auto clickers, but some of you might think that's cheating and that's perfectly fine. Now you might be thinking, why is it so long? Well, I could tell you it's so you're out of the wither's range so they don't attack you, but they're trapped in bedrock. There's literally no way they're gonna escape, right? Well, I actually made it this long to protect my ears, because let me tell you, when this thing gets going, it sounds like death. Not pleasant. Although after I made this, I remembered that while you're using it, you can just, uh, yeah. There is just one teeny tiny problem with this design though. It doesn't even work. So I made a new, smaller one, and it spawns with us fine. Just fine. Right up until you hit around 60 withers, and then new ones stop spawning. They always destroy the soul sand right before the skulls get placed. Now, I tried elevating the withers with a cobblestone wall, I tried putting air gaps in the bedrock to let them float up higher, I tried flooding the chamber with water, actually I don't know why I did that, that was stupid, but none of this solved the problem. The only way this design works is if you play on easy mode or turn off mob griefing. Otherwise, it's just a glorified soul sand breaker. So after that failure, the project stagnated. That was until Il Mango showed me this trick he'd used in the Cycroft Wither Killer, where he pushes the withers up so they float above the soul sand and can never break it. This would slow it down to just 12,000 withers per hour, but all the other things I tried had failed, so what could possibly go wrong? Uh, wait, Mango, if you look at this... Worked again? Um, so, like, yeah, it works, but then somehow wither skulls escape the cage. The fuck? I've never seen that before. Something's going on, man. And then wait for it, wait for it. But it's shaking. <laughs> How are they even getting through, though? It's like, what? Wait for it. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, okay, that's a fun machine. <laughs> Look where they are. Look where they are. Oh what? my god. That's April Fool's video. Really, eh? The wither cannon. And then it just mm -hmm. breaks. Like, why does it overflow? Nothing broke. Oh my god, you can use it to grieve merging to fix this. Wait, they're still stuck in there? Uh, some of them are, yeah. I don't know what's going on, but like, these guys are just chilling, while the other ones are just slowly <laughs> falling into the void. Wow, okay, this is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how, how many are in there? Um... <laughs> 500. Wow, this looks like Armageddon. You know, when we end the season this time, <laughs> I put one of those things at spawn. What happens if you stand there in survival? Will they fly up then? Uh, well, let's see. 
<laughs> that was not a good test. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'd somehow managed to make the Withers escape the ultimate prison, a bedrock cage. But at least I'd achieved something, right? It seems that when you cram enough Withers in one place and move them in a certain way, they'll eventually explode out the top and get yeeted hundreds of blocks away. So needless to say, I had to scrap this idea. Sorry, Mango. So while I procrastinated on finding a different solution, I started messing around with ways to make it faster. And I quickly realized something. Why don't we use two sets of dispensers? This lets us get around their four game tick cooldown, meaning we can use a three game tick clock to max out the pistons, increasing our rates from 18,000 to 24,000. This was a neat little discovery, but it was useless if I couldn't solve the problem of the soul sand getting destroyed. And I still had no idea how to solve it. I was all out of ideas, and so I gave up. But then, just when it seemed like all hope was lost, I got some pointers from Takrin and VK in the Technical Minecraft Discord. They pointed out that I was using sticky pistons to move the final blocks of soul sand, when I should have been using normal pistons so the blocks don't teleport. Now I'll try my best to explain why this is important. Basically, when piston teleport block, wither get processed first and always break block. But when piston move block smoothly, block get processed first when arrive, so block always turn into wither. Anyway, with this new knowledge, I changed up the layout a bit, adjusted some timings here and there, and it worked. It actually worked. And now there was just one thing left to do. Combine three of them into one machine. This is the world's fastest wither killer. As I mentioned earlier, each cage spawns 24,000 withers per hour. And there's three of them, which gives us our magic number of 72,000. At long last, I'd done it. Four months of hard work had finally paid off. Can it be made faster? Technically, yes, but not by much. Plus, it's not even worth it, because either way, it can never reach its top speed. All these withers lag your game so hard that it runs at just a quarter of its actual speed. So we're back where we started at 18,000 withers per hour. <sighs> Clearly, the world just isn't ready for such an efficient nether star farm. By the way, there is a world download in my Discord, although you need a good PC and you need the tweaker mod to use fast block placement. Huge thanks to Denkill5 for being a patron this month.